You're walking through the woods on a moonless night. You hear hounds in the distance. They must have your scent by now. You break into a run, looking for safety. You see a light in the distance. A cabin. As you approach, the door opens by itself. You step inside and take a seat by the fire. It is only now you realize you're on a mystery quest. Welcome everybody to the first episode of our role-playing podcast. This is a place where we play a variety of different one-shot role-playing games with a rolling cast of different special guests. This week, we're playing Call of Cthulhu 7th Edition in a scenario called The Disintegrator. I hope you enjoy. And welcome, everybody, to Call of Cthulhu. Uh, Today I'm joined by four fantastic guests. Uh, Some maybe you've seen before, some maybe not. My name is Tom. I will be your keeper today. Not Not a games master. Keeper is Call of Cthulhu. And let me introduce my wonderful guests, uh, starting over here. Me? I'm Simons. Um, my character is Perry Smythe. Peregrine Perry Smythe. I am a con man. I'm a con man! <laughs> Not quite that much. It's, it's a posh voice. I'm a bit of a con man. Um, I'm, I'm a fake psychic. I like to... Um, Con old ladies out of money by talking to their dead relatives. And, um, yes, I do know a bit about the occult, but I also like to make up a whole bunch about it. <laughs> Amazing. In order to make a few bucks. I'm a ne'er-do-well. A ne'er-do-well. A, well. a rascal. A gutter snipe. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, amazing. <clears throat> uh, Perry Peregrine Smythe. Yes. Uh, and up next in our roster. Uh, so I'm Lydia, and I'm going to be playing uh, Maggie Vandyholt. I'm 28. Uh, Mummy and Daddy died many years ago, as long as as well as my dear husband, Dickie. So I've been left with all the money, which is awfully fun. Um, I've got short blonde hair and bright red lipstick, and I wear lots of lovely furs. I'm very stylish. Amazing. And uh, we're joined by... Your character's brother. Hello. I'm Tom. I'm playing Archibald Vanderhold, or Archie to my friends. Um, so Maggie's mummy and daddy are my mum and daddy, and they left me <laughs> some money as well. And I took my money to Hollywood, where I invested in making movies. And I actually made the most expensive movie in Hollywood history. Uh, but it didn't go down well with critics or audiences, and um, I am no longer welcome in uh, Hollywood, apparently. Wow. And I wear, oh, I wear riding boots and, uh, <laughs> you know, a cravat and a flat cap and all that. You know? Oh, absolutely love it. Yes. <clears throat> Hello, I'm, I'm Ted, and I am playing Godavond. My name is Dr. Otto von Gruber, and I am a survivor of the Great War. Uh, and this is my little dog, Schmutzi. Uh, Schmutzi is... Quite badly behaved, but he's a good boy at heart, which is the key. Much like me, I may have fought for the bad guys, but trust me, I'm one of the good ones. <laughs> uh, I do have a very disfigured face, and you may have noticed this mask covering the right side of my face. Of course, yes. uh, I was struck by an artillery shell and mustard gas, and some guy bayoneted me in the face all at the same time, left quite a nasty scar. All on the same imagine. side of the face. All on the same side. It was unbelievable. Almost unbelievable. Uh, I am a medical doctor, so I was in the war, in the trenches there, but, uh, you know, mainly saving lives, not taking them. I wear the aforementioned mask. I have a wonderful mustache, and I just wear a normal suit. A suit. (laughs) A suit suit. 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 Uh, And uh, also, uh, I am a master of disguise, apart from the face thing. So all the disguises have to feature... Half of my face being disfigured (laughs) makes it a bit of a 50-50, but when it works, you better believe it. So you've been summoned to Professor Lionel Finch's house. Uh, Lionel Finch, he's your uncle. Uh, Whose uncle? It is Maggie and Archie's uncle. Oh. Dear Uncle Finch. Dear Uncle Finch. Bit of an eccentric, but... A little bit of an eccentric, and uh, you had received this telegram. Would you like to read out the telegram? 
Oh, okay, here we go. Right. Um, from Professor Lionel Finch in Arkham. Dear friend, stop. I wish to prevail upon you to represent me in a most urgent and delicate matter. Stop. I am stuck chair-bound again and need help to be my eyes and ears. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> it may prove nothing more than a hoax, but if not, I fear for the future. Stop. Sorry for limited info. Stop. Matter confidential. I will speak more of this in person. Stop. Please come and see me ASAP. I will pay all expenses and a generous fee. Stop. Please reply by return message paid. Stop. There we go. And that's from Arkham in uh, Massachusetts. Yeah. So uh, you guys are all, uh, you can have that uh, telegram if you want to. Look. Uh, so yeah, you guys are residing in and around. All of you are kind of from the the, the New England area. Uh, so whether you're in Massachusetts or uh, the other Maine, <laughs> uh, is Maine in the New England uh, area? There's like two others. I think Rhode Island, Delaware maybe counts as New England, maybe. I'm not sure either way. You all reside in those sort of areas and uh, you have all kind of assembled at uh finch's house uh which is like this big he lives in a big sort of old timey building well i guess probably timey at that stage uh, <laughs> of the timey uh in like a, a really really nice uh neighborhood in arkham and you are welcomed all inside to his uh big big lavish home and uh, you are brought brought in front of uh, in front of Finch. Uh, he's like an older man, uh, kind of graying a little bit. He's lost lost some of his hair, um, and he is wheelchair bound at the moment with a, a rug over his uh, over his legs. Uh, he's wearing mittens and uh, is smoking smoking a pipe. My dear friends and my beloved niece and nephew, thank you thank you for responding responding to my message. It's it's been too long since I last saw you. Please come in. We've prepared tea and cakes for everybody, or coffee if you would prefer. Uh, he puffs on his pipe. <laughs> Just bubbles coming out. <laughs> he's, it's bubbles, yeah. He's, he's, as you can see, I'm very, I'm, I've taken a, been taken a touch on well. Uh, you know, I go, th go through these stages. I'm getting older now, and uh, I have a matter of most, most importance that I need, need you to attend to. But please come in. Take a seat. It must be such a long, long journey for you all. How, how have you all been? It's been so long since we've been together. Oh, hello, Uncle Finchy. Do you have any sherry by any chance? Oh, of course. My favourite, my favourite niece in the world. Please come over. Thank you, darling. Uh, so you're, you're kind of uh, a bit of a business person. Um, Finch is a, a, a fantastic physicist um, and quite an amazing engineer. Uh, he's traveled the world. He lives quite an eccentric life. And he's probably involved in some of the investments that you're involved in as well, that you guys are actually quite uh, intertwined. And he has always had massive respect for your sort of business acumen. Um, less so for the terrible investment he made on uh, Archie's movie, uh, but he does not hold that against you, and he loves that you have a bit of eccentricity to you. My my dear, my my dear nephew, come here, boy. Hello, Finchy. Oh, we all we all go on hard times. I hope uh, hope the the court case is not treating you too badly. Um, <laughs> the legalities are in process, old Finchy. No worries there. Don't worry, it's all in hand. Ah oh, yes. Um, as you know, I'm so sorry I couldn't help out with any any more money towards that. Oh, uh, I knew you could if you would, old boy. Uh, yes, yes. Um, I definitely would, uh, for sure. Uh, and, oh, Otto. Otto, my, my boy, he pulls you. He a pulls pleasure you. as always to see you. Tell me what is a diagnosis or prognosis. I forget which one it is. Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's just a, a touch of pneumonia at the moment. Uh, just... I trust you're in good hands, medically speaking. Uh, yes, well, uh, yours would be the best by far, <laughs> but uh, I need you to handle a different matter for me. Indeed. Um, and this uh, fine gentleman, uh, Perry, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes, uh, yes, Peregrine. You, yes, sure, you can call me Perry, old Peregrine, man. Peregrine, yes, Peregrine. Um, I trust you're keeping your nose clean these days. You see he's got a bit of a twinkle in his eye, uh... For as old as this guy is, and he's looking kind of frail, 
now. Like, there is a keen sharpness to him that you can see that he can see straight into someone's soul and can, can, he's got a really good head on him. And I think you can tell he can read you for what you are. So, Peregrine, you're keeping your nose clean? Not getting up to too much mischief with my niece, I hope? Uh, we've, you know, we've had an adventure or two, but, you know, we're, we're peers. We're, we're good friends. There's nothing more to it. And I'm not taking advantage of her in any way. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Well, yes, yes. She's as quick as a whip, uh, my, uh, my Maggie. And so I think it would take her quite a lot to get one over on her. And, uh, if you ever do, do her wrong, well, then you have to tussle with me. He kind of throws like a little frail faint <laughs> punch up into the air, which you can tell is in good gesture, but you feel there's a bit of a loaded, uh, loaded statement going on. So please, uh, come and sit down, enjoy, enjoy delicious cakes that have been prepared. Would you like coffee, tea? Oh, coffee, please. Perfect. Uh, yeah, he's got sort of some help in the house. Do you have any they... of those um, sandwiches with the cust, the custs? The crot custs. Off. Yes. <laughs> yes. The uh, custs crot off. You could have... <laughs> Just crusts or no crusts. Can I just have a crust? <laughs> yeah, we can, normally we throw those out to the birds, but oh, yes, okay. well, you can have a plate of crusts. Oh, thank uh, you. Yeah, like you, uh, you're I'm taken. I'm panicking. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you're taken, taken into the sitting room, and uh, there's a, a beautiful spread is put out for all of you guys. Uh, you kind of chat. You get to catch up like a little bit uh, amongst yourselves, um, but very soon. He's like, I'm so sorry, but I must, I must press on with the, with the issue at hand. There's a great mystery has arisen and I normally, I wish I could go and handle this myself. Uh, but unfortunately I'm just, I'm not feeling up to it right now. I'm kind of struggling a little. And so I'm going to have you go and be my eyes and ears on the ground. It's going to be an auction held, a private auction for the most fantastical device. It's meant to be some kind of weapon that can destroy all matter. Uh, something absolutely unheard of. Now, I'm sure that this could just, just be an elaborate hoax. Uh, some huckster trying to make a fast buck, but <coughs> I... He uh, <laughs> gives you a little side glance there, Perry. How can we be sure it's 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 for real? Who's selling it? Well, it's a uh, it's created by an uh, a sort of hitherto unknown uh, inventor, um, a George Pelfrey. Uh, he claims to have invented this device that uh, just sounds almost unbelievably unbelievably powerful, and uh, he is going to be putting up an auction. Uh, this auction is being hosted by his lawyer. And uh, they had recently sent out uh, a sort of a dossier on this this item. And they've sent it to all kinds of different people because he's looking for a very quick sale on this amazing, amazing machine. And Has there ever been a demonstration of this device? Well, in this, uh, in this pamphlet that had been sent around, uh, there were photographs of them using it on, a, on an old oak tree and they were able to completely and utterly destroy this entire tree uh, with, with yeah. this machine. Yeah, it could have. be simple photographic trickery. You know how people are these days <laughs> with the clever pictures. Herr Director here understands what I'm talking about. But course, uh, yes. we well, would need to see it operational, surely. It could just be a, a strike of lightning hit the tree. Well, uh, I had uh, shown, shown this dossier to uh, top people I know at Arkham and at the university, mm. and they could not prove if these were were fake pictures. As far as they were concerned, the photographs involved in this were were definitely, definitely real. Do we have the photographs to hand? Unfortunately, I had to return the dossier. It was from a former student of mine uh, who was working in uh, the Massachusetts Power Company, and they'd been sent this document and had just laughed it out out of the park because they did not believe it could be real but this uh this ex-student had anonymously brought it to me 
and uh, let me have a look because he knew I, I was interested in this kind of thing. Uh, I'm a big fan of debunking uh, such faking inventions, but it's got me genuinely quite, quite concerned. Well, Finchie, in your um, your telegraph you sent us, you sound quite afraid, like you were worried about something about the future. This is, this is all a bit of nonsense, isn't clearly it? clearly wants something to stop as well. Nothing to worry about, is it? Well, uh, this is exactly what I need. <laughs> I just got <laughs> that. <laughs> telegram I didn't. Just... to stop. No, that's oh, a joke. nice. It took me a very long time to get that one, Archie. Catch up, everyone. <laughs> the, tele- the telegram. <laughs> Archie, you're such a card. <laughs> Well, this is what I, exactly what I need you to do. I need you to go, go to this uh, this auction where there is claims they will be having a demonstration of this unbelievable device, and either uh, help to debunk debunk what this this item could be, uh, or possibly or, bunk it, or bunk it. <laughs> By uh, bunk it, you mean buy it? Well. Uh, I will provide you with with some money, uh, and if you if you can purchase this thing, if you can if you deem that it is real, uh, because I am dreadfully fearful of the wrong hands that this could could fall into. Uh, I know some of the interested parties. I've done a little bit of snooping around myself as best as I can from my armchair, and have found that there's representatives from many different fields going to in- investigate this, including a large military armament firm and the thought of such a weapon like this falling into the wrong hands. Well... Yeah, Finchy, the Great War was last decade and there will never be another one. Well, we know that for a fact. <laughs> but Come this, on. something like this could change the balance of power and we could... It could end up with a second great war. Nine. Nonsense. Impossible. Don't Nonsense. Don't be ridiculous. If it, if it does that, it won't be us. I guarantee <laughs> you that. Well, I certainly hope not. Uh, but I just want you to go and, number one, just see if you can prove if this thing is real or, or fake. And if not, uh, try and get your hands on it. Uh, there will be an auction. I shall provide you with, with some funds. And if if you can't do that, find out which parties are interested in this and what they plan to do with it. Yeah. Um, but just whatever you do, do not let this thing fall into the wrong people's hands. I cannot implore that enough if it turns out to be real. Now, I'm sure it probably is. It probably is all fake. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure of that. Must uh, be. This is poppycock. Absolutely gosh. ridiculous. Does, does anyone want to give me a psychology, <laughs> psychoanalyze, something like that kind yeah, of role? Yeah, psychology. Uh, give me, give me a roll. I'm going to need a hard roll. So we are playing Call of Cthulhu. This is a percentile-based system where uh, you'll have skills, uh, and you are trying to roll under that on a d100. So, for right. example, if you had a fifty, you are trying to roll. Less than fifty. Uh, if you manage to roll half of a skill, then you've got a half a hard success. And if you roll one fifth of that skill, then it's an extreme success. I got to roll so, under thirty for this then. For your what is that? That's eighty-seven. <laughs> eighty-seven. That's, um, that's not a good roll. Tom. Okay. Uh, does anyone else want to have a little? <clears throat> little yeah, I know my uncle. I'm sure I could read him in a pinch. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know what? Um, because you probably know him very well, I won't say this is a hard roll. This is a regular roll. 25. Uh, okay, 25. Uh, that is a success. You can see your your uncle is hiding something. Or, like, is he genuinely looks a little bit scared. Finchy, I can see your jimmies have been rustled. Tell me, <laughs> what's going on here, old boy? Come on, spit it out. Look, um, my sweet, my sweet nephew... Uh, he he puts his hand on on your knee. Um, you, can, <laughs> you can feel him kind of rubbing. Heavy breathing. <laughs> my sweet, my sweet nephew. No, he's a lovely man. No, but you can feel him shaking a little bit. Oh my God. I put my hand on his cheek. <laughs> oh, what's he doing with his other hand? <laughs> uh, my sweet, my sweet nephew. Uh, no, I'm I'm sure it must be fake. I just I feel like I've seen things like this before, but. It's not. It's not worth bearing about. I can't. I can't possibly talk about. My it. dear uncle, you're trembling. He's and he looks. 
He looks pale. I'm sure it's all just a hoax. Um, this reminds you of something. You've seen a weapon like this before. I have uh, just feel like I've... I've seen things that I could not explain in the past, but I'm sure this is completely different, and this is just, uh, uh, this, this George Pelfrey is just trying to make a fast, a fast buck, uh, as, as quickly as he can. Anything uh, we should be wary of that's worrying you? No, no, just, just find out if this thing is, is real or not. That's all. Don't you very finchy, my own, fr- my own old finder. We will investigate it. What? We will get to the bottom of it. What? We schmutzy. <laughs> <laughs> schmutzy. Oh, uh, he throws a ham sandwich to schmutzy. <gasps> schmutzy oh. doesn't eat ham. <laughs> oh, wait, he does eat ham. I forgot. Yes. <laughs> he swallowed it whole. Schmutzy loves that schmutzy ham sandwich. Schmutzy loves ham. You better believe it. He is running around, balking around. Uh, so the, um, the the auction is the day, the day after tomorrow. Um, I've... You're welcome to take my car. I've, I've prepared funds uh, for you. Can Although I see you, you guys probably all have. Uh, I'm pretty well off, but not, uh, I'd, I'd say comfortable, you know. I'm incredibly wealthy. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, you're welcome to take any any car. Does uh, anyone have an automobile? Yes, I do, I believe. Uh, yeah, you, you probably have oh, your own car. You like drive. She would have a driver. Uh, no, I, no, I like driving myself. You see, it's a little bit of a thrill. Oh, I see. Love it, absolutely love it. But yeah, when you were when you were kids, uh, uh, Finchy would he would take you around. Uh, he used to love getting cars, souping them up, and that's kind of where uh, both uh, Archie and Maggie, you got your kind of your passion for cars was from. He built uh, me a go kart from a shopping trolley. <laughs> yes, I remember doing that. I still have the grid marks on my bottom from those days. <laughs> yes, like 80 and, miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> it was very, very fast. Uh, is there anything else I can help you with? Because I feel like I may, I may need to rest. Where, where is this uh, auction, uh, Finchy? Oh, it's in a, uh, it's a private hotel. This whole thing is being done uh, a little off the grid. Um, I believe all organised by... Uh, this George Pelfrey's lawyer, uh, just so he's hoping to take a bigger cut, I imagine. Um, but yes, it's a little, uh, a little, little up north. The White Point Hotel is uh, where this will be taking place. Uh, just um, a few miles outside of Kingsport. And what do you know about this Pelfrey fellow? Have you met him? I haven't. Um, once again, I had my my own investigator uh, do a little bit of looking into him and it seems like recently he he's been taken ill uh and oh god claims this is why he's trying to sell sell this this device mm. uh that he doesn't have the you know the the health to keep pursuing it and uh is trying to pay for his medical bills or i guess god forbid uh take care of his family he has a uh, a wife and two young children and what sort of illness does he have? I do, do not know, but um, they've they've been moving around a lot recently, and have I assume to stay near the best best medical professionals. Uh, but yes, uh, he's just a, a a bit of, from what I can tell, a bit of a dunce, and so it seems amazing that he's put this together, which is why I fully believe it can't possibly be real. Hmm. <laughs> well, we shall attempt to ascertain the truth of his claims with regards to his matter destroying device. Don't you worry, Finchy. We are on the case, aren't we, Schmutzy? <laughs> <laughs> good, good boy. <laughs> you, you too, you too, uh, Schmutzy. <laughs> <laughs> we should go straight to the hotel because it might have a lovely little cocktail bar or something. We could spend the night there before. Oh, of course, then we listen to some yes. music. We'll go on a night out or something. Yes? Yes, sounds great. <laughs> sounds great. Let's do it. Still got the Maggie Mobile outside, are you? Absolutely. Here? Only if I drive, though. Can I possibly put my camera on the roof? Uh, wh- uh, wh- why do you want I to I have a motion that, picture camera with me, left over from my uh, travels, and I let me know what you can find in these uh, interesting... Well, actually, yes? I'd, I'd very much appreciate if you could record this. I'm having, I've only seen photographs of what this could do, and yes, my, my boy, if you... If you could record the demonstration, well, that that kind of evidence would be 
far easier to uh, determine if this whole thing is a hoax or not. I'll make it my next motion picture. <laughs> Weapon demonstration. Well, uh, maybe um, this one, hopefully it'll be a little little more successful than, than the last. You're such an inspired boy. Uh, I, I'm so... ahead of my time is all. The audience will catch up eventually. Yes. That is a yes. good idea, but I don't think they'll allow us to film it. We'll have to try and do it surreptitiously. We can do a surreptitious making of movie, yes, we well, can do that. They might be interested in filming it, given that they are attempting to auction the weapons. They might consider this a good advertisement for its capabilities. Uh, excuse me, a what? An advertisement. <laughs> An advertisement? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. For the auction. For the weapons. There's, there's, <laughs> no, we'd never, like, you know, developing the film, distributing it, it would take weeks, if not months. And the auction's the day after tomorrow. Yeah, but we can tell them that we're going to film it and uh, that it's important. They might not figure yeah. that out. I think we have to keep it on the DL. I think we should hide it in a hat or a little yes, purse or something. I could wear the hat. A I mean, fruit it's hat? Quite exciting. I've got a lovely little hat. I, I mean, with the go. tripod and everything, it's about five foot tall. This camera is <sighs> big. And it needs, a wi- oh. it needs to be wound as well, Maggie. Just oh. yeah. like, you've got to crank it. Can maybe, not well, you maybe could, we could hide in her hat as well. Train Schmutzy <laughs> to sit on her shoulder and crank the <laughs> Of film. Could do that. Can we disguise the camera as another person? Walk it along. We, oh, we can make it look like a baby or something. Yes, yeah, in a carry. <laughs> make it, yeah, hold a very long five foot baby. Like a little baby. Okay, well, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you can figure this out. I'll let you work out what you're what you're doing with your well your camera. You're all welcome to take quarters here. Uh, there's plenty of space. The staff the staff will look after you. Um, anything, anything you you need. Um, I managed to free up uh, a slip for six thousand dollars for you to for you to use in this in this auction. My goodness! Gosh. I say, thank you, Uh Six thousand dollars is about two hundred and forty thousand in modern day money. Jesus Christ! Well, it's not much considering you can just get rid of matter. This is actually quite cheap. Could I possibly <laughs> hmm, siphon a bit to buy a bit of film for my camera, maybe, Finchie? Uh, well, um, or any film, any, any film rolls ro- 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 lying around, do you? I'm sure we could. We, I'll, I'll send one of the staff out to pick you up, oh, film. Don't, good don't chat. worry, Thank uh, you, Finchie. Don't worry, Archie. Archie, leave him alone for God's sake! <laughs> You're embarrassing me. Uh, so. Finch gets kind of taken off to bed. He sort of is, seems very tired and just wants to wants to go and rest. Bye, um, Finch. Good night, uh, Uncle. Gets wheeled off, smoking his pipe. Ho ho. <laughs> uh, and does he put me in one of those like dumb waiter things? To go up to <laughs> yeah. The bedroom? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why not? They load him in, and uh, away he goes. He waves the whole way. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye bye. Good night. <laughs> uh, so, is there anything you guys would like to do? Um, until when, when was when were they going to demonstrate the um, weapon? It's tomorrow night, isn't it? I think that's. But is there a demo and then the auction is the night after that? Is that what? The- yeah, the as far as you know, there is going to be an auction being held after a demonstration. Of, Immediately after. Uh, it'll be in the same the same evening. Okay. Is the idea that they'll be doing a demonstration of the object and then. Having the auction. And did we get an idea of how big this thing is from the pictures? I forgot to ask. Uh, you can call up. I'm still in the. But he's like slowly going up. Going so you only have so room. much time. To... I have Vinci just on the way up, but just a quick question. <laughs> yes. Uh, how big is this thing? The weapon. Uh, it, it's actually it looks very similar to a uh, to Archie's camera. Oh. It's on a on a tripod. It has a. A connected generator uh, to it, maybe about five, five, six feet tall. Uh, then with this other thing, it looks like it needs a person or two to move around. So man portable. Yes, it's yes. Okay. Uh, it looks like a person, person could, could move this. Okay, thank you. Uh, about that, that sort of size, stood on a tripod. Now that. Um Uncle Finch is going to bed. No, I'm still in the office. <laughs> uh, goodbye, I've got now. Goodbye, bye. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, he's, he's now. Okay. He's gone. Now he's, he's gone. actually gone to bed. Um, it seemed like he knew something a bit strange about all this. I was thinking we should go have a little look through his library and see if he sees journals or anything. Find out what on earth he's alluding to. Good look in Finch's library. Like, well, I think he knew something, but he wasn't telling us. I thought it was very strange. So you know that uh, your Uncle Finch has 
he's a bit of an explorer. Like looking around his house, you'll see uh, different Rhino kinds of. On the wall. <laughs> there'll be masks all over the walls. Uh, there's stuffed animals um, mounted above his fireplace. Is this big, horrible taxidermy half fish, half monkey creature? Uh, it's full of just curios that he's collected from his travels. And, you know, he's kind of done some exploring. Mm. And you feel like there's there's stuff in his past that he just doesn't like talking about. Mm -hmm. There are some things that he's always, always kind of clammed up. And you've seen him, like, meeting with, like, people in the past uh, that always have private conversations that he's never really kind of shared shared with you uh, just from his own own travels. Does that mean we're not allowed to go look in his library then? You're welcome to go and look at his library. We can have a... Have, have a, a little look. nose around and yeah. see what we can find. Just have a little peek. I always thought he was hiding something and he's always clams up when we're asking questions. He goes, give a look. Come on, come on, Perry. Come on, Perry. Hurry up, Perry. I'm sure he's got like a <laughs> private office, a, a desk. Yeah, yeah. A he's got a drawer. Yeah, he's a got a diary in the drawer. <laughs> the uh, usual. The, yeah, he's you know, got a big... All men have secrets, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, yeah, if you want to have a rummage around uh around his house. Uh yeah, there's um there's sort of some Not in a mean way. Some staff. No, that's totally fine. Like yeah. yeah, there is there is books and uh curios everywhere. But he definitely does have a big a big study here with okay. a large large desk. Yeah, and just poke books around and set. books covering the walls, uh giant mm -hmm. drawers full of maps and scrolls and all, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. Uh, Maybe great. check his recent post in his like in tray mm. on his desk. See <laughs> yeah. if there's oh, anything yeah. in there. Plans for a giant weapon or whatever. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Uh, so I want you to roll me a uh, library use roll, please. <laughs> ah. um, can I all, can do library. You can well, all go on. Then. Uh, no, all of you can have a go. A uh, thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Is that what? Nine. That's dreadful. My library use is only twenty. Okay. Is that you. Perry, which ones? <laughs> God's sake, man. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Thank What's, you. Wait, what? <laughs> this is there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Perry. Uh, that's that's 90. not bad as it gets. Not very really. good. 98 oh, is actually yeah, 98. a critical fail. My oh, goodness, fuck. that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Bollocks. Uh, Set fire to the library. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, anyone, anyone else that wants to yeah, make I, I remember this library maybe I have a bit of specialist knowledge he used to let us drive his cars around this library didn't he yeah, oh, yes I remember <laughs> now okay that is a d8 you need the d10 <laughs> fucking hey, hell what was that one 30 there you 30 go we, we come from royalty darling we've never had to do this <laughs> sort of thing we had someone roll the dice for us count for us you're a gambler and you never rolled a fucking dice <laughs> maybe it's a different Bullshit. this is nerdy dice I've only won <laughs> done the ones you do when you're drinking and smoking <laughs> okay so as you rummage around uh, through his stuff you do find uh, some telegrams and some of them are a little cryptic correspondence that you do not know um, but often signed off by different professors, things like that. But there is very little information in them. Hmm. There are things saying, Professor Finch, I'm concerned what we believe to be true is coming to fruition. Um, I can't, we cannot speak over Telegram. We must do this in private. Like It feels like they are very, very careful about correspondence or things like that. And his he has so many books, you have no idea where to begin. Uh, one second you are reading about uh, cannibal tribes. Uh, another time it is uh, about the you know properties of using zeppelins for space travel. Uh, oh, things like that. Idea. It is every single subject. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Lydia, with your crit, as you're Sheet. looking around, you knock over a large kind of glass display of uh, there's several kind of weird looking like stuffed lemur type things in this uh, kind of what, what are those things called the striped tail a cloche lemons. like a like a cloche like a, big a glass, glass cloche uh, uh, a, a cloche. bell jar yeah. a bell jar, oh, a, bell bell jar. jar. Yeah. Uh, you, a cloche is you know when, when someone brings you a tray oh yeah and they go uh, Poom, and there's yeah. a beef or a steak oh. or whatever oh. it that only it's, it's a stuffed a lemur. Only is this, <laughs> yeah. and it won't, it's a bell jar, not a cloche. I it's just a like saying cloche. Like a, a big glass 
thing which is stood on a shelf and as you're pulling a book out of one of the shelves that thing falls and smashes to the ground mm. does it spring to life and attack her? <laughs> no <laughs> but it definitely kind of like bursts some of the stuffing and the seams on these guys nine schmutzy put it down <laughs> the, uh, uh, you hear uh, some of the, the staff come in and they're like oh no yeah, bollocks. No, what are you what are you doing? Making a mess in here. Oh, sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. You terrors, get out. Look, now we'll have to tidy up. We're investigating. Finch is so particular about his lemurs. About his lemurs. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Finch is paying us to investigate, and by Jove, that's what we're doing. He, we just had a minor accident. I'm sure he would have given you anything you need to know. Now hurry on up can out I, of here. Can I, I need fucking, to... can I fast talk to try and What are you what are you trying to achieve? <laughs> So that we won't be thrown out of the office. Okay. You just, need to get out of here right now. We're just doing some harmless investigation, as Professor Fidge has paid us to. Pay, pay no heed to the broken jar with the lemur on the floor. What have I got? 21. That is a good hard success. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm... I'm sure he would be fine with you having a little... Just be careful. Please. I'm very sorry. These are antiques. His niece, as you clearly must know, is very clumsy. That's... Uh, but I think is. That's true. <laughs> These, this house is not designed to have children running around in it. <laughs> uh, 28. 28 year old children. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Uh, you, you've probably known this uh, matronly character that has been with Finch since you were a child mm. and remember getting scolded by her for getting sticky fingers on the walls and uh, oh, yeah. dropping oh, stuff and jam training, all over jam in the carpet mm -hmm. like all oh. kinds of stuff like that can i try and do a spot hidden around the desk see if uh, there's any secret drawers you can do a spot hidden anything. i'm like there's something to find there's something to you're find you're obsessed Perry. there has to be there has to be right 14 wow Ooh. which is not quite a crit success, but okay. it's a hard success. Uh, right, you as you look around, th and this it takes you guys absolutely hours. It's now getting mm. to really late at night as you've been just rummaging through everything. I'm just um, eating crusts to keep my energy. <laughs> yeah, you've got this big tray of crusts. <laughs> Why did they ask for crusts? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Uh, yeah, as you dig around, you find a sort of a detective sleeve of... Uh, information on George, George Pelfrey. Ah, this must be the private investigator? Yeah, it looks, it's kind of a dossier on this character. Uh, and uh, inside you find a newspaper clipping. Uh, George Pelfrey, a year ago, uh, the article reads like, two men involved in tragic hiking accident. Uh, one dead, the other terribly injured. And uh, George Pelfrey... Uh, was uh, hunting in the Appalachians and with a, a friend of his and they were involved in some kind of landslide and his friend uh, was killed and he had survived. Was he horribly injured or? No, he was like, you know, kind of, kind of injured and his friend died uh, maybe about eight months ago. And, and where was he again? In a mountain, In the Appalachians. They were on a hunting trip together. Yeah, hunting trip for what? It does, uh, sorry. Does my, uh, <laughs> just quickly, <laughs> since you were already pausing, might find uh, we should perhaps be careful in our dealings with this. Uh, Finchie himself and all his friends that he was discussing this with by a telegram we're all being careful and saying we are close, but we cannot talk now. So there might be other forces at work here looking to stop us from investigating this device. <laughs> In what? Sorry? Investigating the device. Investigating the what? The, 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 yeah. You heard me the first time. Perry, I can't understand a bloody word he's saying. What is wrong with him? You he's, guys know each other. You're, <laughs> you're all right, no, I'm joking. Okay. But yeah, so uh, George Pelfrey. Uh, he mm. was injured. Also, there's a list of... Uh, he has five existing uh, patents. Um, only one of them had ever sold, which was just a different kind of a switch. Uh, it was sold to a Canadian radio uh, manufacturer um, for a tiny 
tiny sum. The rest of his inventions are a different type of a transistor. No one bought it. Uh, so he is a genuine inventor. He is an inventor, but mm. who has had... He is to inventing what our friend here is to filmmaking. It's a very, a very apt way <laughs> to, to put it. Does it say what his friend's name is, the one who died? His friend. It does have his friend's name. We'll call him Bertie. Oh, Bertie. Poor Bertie. Poor Bertie. Well, Bertie but does not matter. Bertie <laughs> uh, <laughs> does not matter. It's one. Bertie it's, uh, <laughs> is dead. So it's, it's very, very late now. Um, Let's one get of the sleep. One of the staff is <clears throat> kind of hanging around like... <clears throat> Yeah, don't worry, we're going. Looking, yeah. just just making sure that you guys have everything that you want, but they're kind of, oh, it's so are, late. Are we staying here or not? Uh, no. Yeah, you've all yeah. been had rooms prepared. <clears throat> this is a big, big house. Okay. You can get private I say rooms. we convene breakfast and start sorting this out. Yes. What do you think? Because I'm connected. <laughs> well, Let's am. meet at 7 a.m. for Bloody Mary's and some toast. Uh, I fancy pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless you guys have anything uh, else that you want to do, we can just start heading over to the hotel if you'd like. Just jump into sure. the cars. So, yeah, wake up yeah. tomorrow and off we go. Yeah, if you want to just wake up and. Okay. We don't have to role play eating breakfast. Have a few bloody yeah. Mary. Yeah, you're rare and the sauce. Uh, so. Yeah, if you're, are you driving everyone in your car there? After four blows. After yeah. four blows, my goodness, I'm feeling a bit skewy after that. Right, chaps, get in the car, everyone buckle up, let's go. I'm going to drive us. Where's the dog going to go? Oh, oh, he's lap. not allowed oh. on the seat. He's not allowed to make my car all stinky. Don't worry, he'll sit on my lap. Schmutz, he's ever so good. <laughs> Schmutz is loves very it. clean. Loves it. <laughs> oh, look at him looking out the window. <laughs> Ninth one, <be> careful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, you head uh, have a beautiful drive. Uh, you're heading kind of up up the coast, uh, in out into the out into the woods a little bit. You go past the the town of Kingsport, and then it's maybe about five miles, uh, just more kind of like out in out into the wilds from there. And you kind of pull up to this big, beautiful kind of three story. Kind of like mid Victorian style looking building, uh, or like it's done up to look like that kind of brick and uh, like red brick and white wood. Fantastic. A huge kind of glass covered. Um, Why don't you do a roll for driving? Is that a thing? No, not, not unless, just unless there's not something. Just you, can, you can do a roll. Yeah. If, if she has been that. drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do a roll. Maybe. <laughs> Let's see if we all crash and die, chap. Let's go. Oh, oh yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we 84. do. 84. 84. Lydia, why Let's are you like this? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, no. If there's, if there's something... <laughs> if... Squirrel just jumped out onto the road. <laughs> well, we can... We can, uh, we can yeah, it's all right, don't worry. Let's just carry on going. Let's pretend I didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to roll every time you did anything you could do, I'd have to roll... I'd have a one in five chance of failing to speak my native language. <laughs> <laughs> just every single Sorry. time. <laughs> well, people have not been able to understand understand you a lot, so... Right, that's my English. I am, oh. Of course I am talking about when I speak German, which of course I can fluently. <laughs> Go uh, on, give on, give us a little bit. No, I can't. <laughs> oh. Otto can. <laughs> so you you pull up up to this big, big grand building. Uh, I've got a vague sort of layout of what the outside looks like. Not that it really matters. White uh, Point. White Point. Is it on a cliff? Uh, White Point is so the it is set within like a cove, oh. uh, which is where the hotel gets its name from, and these big kind of palatial grounds of the hotel itself uh, with a grand grand entrance uh, a huge sort of conservatory area out the back uh, you guys pull in and there you're greeted by a sort of bellhop type character um, what's his name? The <laughs> that character does have a name uh, they are called Bertie <laughs> Uh, hey, how can I help you? It's me, Gabe. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, I just need you to come and park over here. 
Uh, it's the old stables. Uh, we had to convert it into a garage a couple of years ago. Uh, so you can install this fancy car of yours. Whoa, you almost ran me over. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> sorry, sorry, darling. I've had a few bloody well, one too many uh, bloody berries. Gabe has to, like, literally dive out of the way uh, as you... Uh, you know, rolled that 84. <laughs> I have a tip for you, buddy. Get out the fucking way. <laughs> he Whoa. is dead. <laughs> uh, boom. Can I help you with your bags or anything? Yes, please, darling. Uh, be careful. This one's Bags? Weak. Do we have bags? We yeah, do, Of course darling. we have yeah. bags. Yeah, of course oh. we do, yes. Careful with it now. It's very okay. expensive. Thank you. Great. I'll take them right away. <laughs> Cowboy. He stands there kind of expectantly. Right, Maggie will get hey, right, right, yes, yes. Yeah. How much is he supposed to do? Oh, like uh, a, what, $100 or something? Or something? Five quarters. Give, give him Five, five, five cents. It's like, like a nickel. That's where you could buy a fucking house with that. But no, okay, five cents. Here you go. Now go buy yourself something nice, chap. That's great. Thanks. <laughs> you are welcome. You sure are swell. <laughs> oh, um, yes, yes. Uh, he... I love Gabe. I hope we see more of him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm going to be around the whole lot. Don't forget me, Gabe. <laughs> you uh, remind me of someone. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> uh, so Gabe uh, heads off into the place uh, with your your bags and uh, you can have a picture this is a vague layout of the hotel oh my um, god but do not worry too much about it it's just going to give you an idea for floor so plans so just your bog typical very fancy hotel with a massive dining room imagine that so you go you go into a you go into the central Ooh. lobby mm-hmm. Sorry, <laughs> nothing. What? It's a stone angel. Oh, did I not tell you about the giant stone angel with its laser eyes that is just... <laughs> <laughs> Every time we look away, it gets a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you go into the lobby of the hotel and uh, there is uh, Gabe with your bags and like an old man stood behind the, behind the, the, the sort of lobby desk. Um, you'd think that uh, there would be more people kind of working here, but we're getting into sort of late autumn time and the hotel is kind of shutting down for winter Yeah, is the, the kind of idea. Like these sort of more isolated uh, places don't stay like open. Like the hotel in The Shining. Mm. Don't, don't say that. Sorry. <laughs> don't say that. Sorry. Uh, and so, yeah, they're kind of, kind of shutting down for that. You can see a, a few other guests kind of like... Uh, milling around and you can see through into there's a, a lounge area and a dining room and there's a a couple of other people hanging out hello how can i help you guten tag i am here dr otto von gruber and this is my uh freunds if that's the right word welcome yes freunds yeah, german i think uh, we uh we have Freunden. several rooms for freunden and <laughs> this is my friend, Lynn. Do you have re- reservations? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we do. Yes. Uh, yeah, I believe uh, L- Lionel Finch. Lionel Finch, sorry. Uh, should have booked some rooms for us. Lionel <clears throat> Lionel Finch. Uh, yes, actually, he did. Uh, I've got four uh, four rooms booked. Um, there's, uh, yes, uh, we've got three uh, three of the uh, the large the large suites, and there's just one uh, one single room there as well. So you'll have to work out amongst yourselves who's going to have the suites and which one of you is getting the just a single room. Well, I need the room for Schmutzy, so I will need a big room. I mean, I'll, I'll take the small one. Don't worry. Don't oh, worry. I'll Perry, take the small one. Good lad. Well I'll take done, one Perry. for the team. Thank well you, done. Perry. Uh, he hands, uh, hands you guys the keys uh, to your rooms. Uh, they're on the, the first floor. Uh, the, the top floor is we've shut down all the rooms for now. Um, as we're closing for the season, so... be the second floor in America. The, the, when you say the first floor, the ground floor does not exist in this country, of course. Oh, uh, I keep forgetting, first. I'm actually British. <laughs> oh, I, uh, yeah. I often make that mistake, and because uh, all of you had kind of British-sounding accents, apart from yourself, uh, good course, doctor. Of course, yeah. So uh, we are going I, up one. I, I yeah. spoke like that to help <laughs> it make sense for you. I did it for your benefit. <laughs> but yeah, so the, switching. The, oh, yes, yeah. the, so the second floor <clears throat> is where your rooms are. The third floor is basically uh, just all closed up right now. and We're not having people staying up there. And what is it closed up for? It's because we're closing for the season. We, and we oh, don't you just have, shut down early. That's it. We, Nothing weird. It's not an avenue worth exploring. It's just closed. It's down. Uh, well, we don't have any bodies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 
Uh, but yes, we only have a few guests on uh, at the moment. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a nice surprise uh, having some people so late into the season. It's great, great to have you here. And is there uh, some sort of auction being held? Tonight? Oh, you're here for the auction yes. and the demonstration. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, oh, yes, uh, that'll be happening uh, this, this evening. Um, you'll need to go and uh, uh, talk to the, Mr. Wade. He's the one handling it. Are you one, Were you invited by him? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's tomorrow evening. It is tomorrow, isn't it? So we've slept overnight and now we've come It was here. the day after tomorrow. Oh, so. well, it can be tomorrow evening <laughs> instead. I just uh, I just gave us a whole other day, okay. guys. You spend <laughs> so, the whole day bird watching and you have a lovely playing meal. Playing around in golf. You play some golf. <laughs> there, li- there literally is a golf golf course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, if you guys want to do some uh, looking around, some snooping. stuff. Snooping. Some snooping. Snooping. Uh, well, yes, uh, it's tomorrow evening. Uh, is when the auction is happening, and I promise you, this is seeing as so much stuff is shut down. This is a pretty sleepy place, and I don't know how much excitement there'll be before then. Uh, we do have a few other guests um, that you maybe would want to go and hang out with, uh, including uh, our uh, Do It Do It Kruger. He's a avid bird watcher. Maybe you'd like to go on one of his treks with him. We'll leave uh, Gabe to go and take. Uh, Take your bags upstairs and please just help yourselves to whatever you want to do. He's just stood there. <laughs> just stood there. Yeah, I guess we'll go. Uh, yeah, drop fresh, our stuff up, freshen, freshen up, up, shall freshen we? Up. Okay. Well, unless there is anything that you guys are super eager. Well, do we want to have a look around on this closed floor? I thought you'd be a bit funny, don't you think? What do we not bother? No, I don't think there's anything to it. If there was, he wouldn't have told us about it. Well, you've got you've got uh, time. Time to kill, so... Yeah, what are we you, looking for? You, you what can, are you looking for? I just thought he was being a bit suspicious, is all. You you can go up and investigate that floor, and it turns out, uh, yeah, uh, as you can tell, there's only, at most, a dozen guests staying at, the, at this place, and the top floor has a good 40, 50 rooms. The second floor has maybe maybe 30 rooms. Uh, they just don't need that many rooms mm-hmm. open at the moment, mm-hmm. and there's no point... Uh, mm-hmm. having to have people going in and out. And so they've all been kind of, uh, you know, cleaned up. Is there a guest book? Uh, at the desk, yeah, there is a book. I have a little little peepers at the at the guest book. We could see who else is here for the yeah. auction. Oh, I'm sorry. The, this is, the guest book is a private. I thought we had to sign it. Oh, you do have to sign <laughs> okay. it. Okay. Yes. Let me just all sign on in. Just get the pen. Just sign this in. He he very deliberately turns to a new page <clears throat> and looks at you. Yes. You seem to be very cautious about uh, revealing what. Well, this might is a pr- it's a private uh, private auction that's going on. Uh, you know, private people. Yeah, I so, see. so will our names also be private? Yes, I would not share your names with anyone. Thank you. So Thank once you. we've signed the guest book, you, you'll flip it to the next page for any other guests. That's definitely <laughs> what I'll do. Yes. Anyway, I just need to step into the back room for a <laughs> second. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think the telephone's ringing. The telephone does ring. Oh, uh, right away. He goes to the far other end of this. Uh, I flip this open long. the page <laughs> you, over. You Dog. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a few names in here at the moment. There is a Dewitt Kruger, uh, Lucille and Holly, Holly Dane, Ernest Kepler, plus two guests, Daniel Wade, and uh, that's it at the moment. Say what numbers they're staying in or just their names? Uh, yeah, sure, there's, there's numbers next to it. You can find navigate to any of their rooms if you uh super needed to okay we need to find out where the demonstration is going to take place yes. and we need to hide the camera somewhere nearby that is a very good idea do we how do we do this is there a big sign that says demonstration here? <laughs> with an arrow <laughs> yeah uh, sadly the there isn't can there we track down sign. this this mr wade that was mentioned uh yeah okay as you guys are here for a couple of hours. You can have a, like a walk around. You've investigated the top floor of the hotel. Uh, there's 
a bit of a skeleton crew of <gasps> staff working <laughs> at the moment. Um, anything that you need. Hey, Gabe comes up. He's always here trying to help out. Hello, Gabe. Uh, hey, can I do anything for you, mister? Do you need some help carrying that camera around? Yes, it's actually, me, you can take my camera. He, Oh, I love it. I love seeing the movies. That's uh, good. Don't don't use the camera. Just just hang on to it for oh, now, please. Gee, look at this. What heavy. does this bit do? Don't do that. <laughs> okay, no, don't do that. Don't uh, touch it. Just hold hold it steady. Thank how you. Can I, how can I hold it without touching it, Mister? You can touch the legs of the tripod, Gabe. You can't touch the, the camera, please. Oh, gee. Uh, he he lugs that around for you. Thank you, Gabe. Um, Gabe, I have a quick little question for you. Uh, this auction tomorrow. Sure thing, mister. Do you know where it's going to be held in the ground? Oh, it's being held hotel? in the hotel. Uh, it's being held here. I don't know the details. Uh, you, you gotta go talk to uh, talk to the mean fella. Mean fella? <laughs> yeah, the mean. Yeah, he's real mean. Doesn't doesn't tip a dime. A Terrible. dime. That's how much we should tip him. A dime. <laughs> I said a nickel. Anyway, no, but, uh, much. Uh, I'd yeah, like a, that's right. I'd like a dollar. <laughs> uh, if I push a little dollar your way, will you tell us where we can find this, Mr. Wind? Oh, you'll be able to... Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah, you yeah you give him, like, a, a dollar. And, like, oh, geez, I think you can hear him right now. And you guys are moving through the grounds uh, near sort of, like, the, the open windows to the uh, restaurant area or the lobby, whichever, the lounge. Um, and you hear like, Hey, what do you mean there's no booze here? What, like, we need to get these saps drunk! What the hell? You get that alcohol out here as soon as you can! We need people drinking at this thing! It's a private function! I paid a lot of good money to have this place going on! Uh, and you hear this guy just absolutely berating some, uh, uh, some stuff. It's the, uh, the old, the old sort of guy that was working in the lobby. You can see him kind of imploringly talking to this guy. I demand we have alcohol at this thing. I don't care about prohibition. God. Do you know who I am? It's me, Daniel Wade. I think that's Daniel Wade. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he's the lawyer? Hey, don't make me sue you <laughs> with my legal skills. <laughs> I now, think it's Pelfrey's lawyer. I need alcohol out here. I need it flowing. I wonder why they want everyone so drunk. I want these people drinking because then the money starts a flowing. <laughs> <laughs> it really read our minds. Should we go do up? we want to do we want to talk to this lunatic? Mr. Wade, I'm five pints deep. Hello, sir. <laughs> We're here for your auction. Why what? No. <laughs> who who the who the hell are you? I didn't invite you to no auction. I'm Archie Vanderholt of the Vanderholt Dynasty. I'm invited to every auction. What? I No, I sent out a very select list uh, to interested parties, and uh, I got no RSVP from you. Who the heck? What the heck are you all doing here? Ignore my brother. Sorry, sorry. Lion Lionel Finch uh, is uh, our, un our uncle, Finchy, uh, sent us. Oh, he sent us. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, we are we are here on his behalf for the auction. Lionel Finch? Yes. I've never heard of him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Scheiße. <laughs> uh... Uh, Does our, he makes movie. Does I'm a movie movies. maker, and I'm very rich. Does that my does my bank balance buy me a ticket to the auction? I'll be. Give me some kind of roll. You can fast talk because you aren't rich, or yeah. you can credit rating, or no, fast something talk. Like that. Let's do fast talk. I've got a seventy in fast talk. Twelve. Nice. That's yeah. a. You you can almost see dollar signs mm. appear. I flick my checkbook in front of his face. Did I have checkbooks in the twenties? Yeah, 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 you'd have a I'm like flicking that in front of his face. Smell it that. would have been an animated like Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> the moving pictures. There are a lot of money there. So, well, if you if you've got money, then you're more than welcome at this auction. Uh, you know, you you want to use this for the the film industry? I can see how this could revolutionize your next picture. Uh, man, you, but you got to be careful. A lot of other interested parties here, so you might want to do some good, good big bids. 
Are there, um, while I've got you, Mr. Wade, is there any chance you could uh, let us know where this demonstration might be happening? Oh, the demonstration's going to be right out here, right on the lawn. On the lawn, wonderful, okay. Hey, Rick, okay, yeah, no, I'll, I'll say this when he's not here. All, all, <laughs> I'll, all I'll say is, uh, you know, better get one last look at that big statue down yeah, there. Yeah, that's cause... what I was going to say, uh, they're going to blast the statue, yeah. Yeah, I mm. might not be there for that much longer. Very <laughs> interesting. Well, we'll keep drinking, Mr. Wade, and I'll Excellent. see you tomorrow at the auction. Well, don't drink too much, because the auction's not till tomorrow. <laughs> so, We're going uh, all the way through. You don't want to miss it, uh, so... Drink up or not, I guess. <laughs> Drink up or not, that's my motto. I have a question, uh, Mr. Wade. Right away. Uh, excuse me, yeah. What's your name? It's me. I'm Daniel Wade. <laughs> uh, name's Perry. You know, I'm a man Great. about town and such. Uh, a, a good friend of... Um, Can you... Archie. Archie yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make me uh, like an appearance roll or a credit rating? Appearance? Or... Yeah. Oh, like... my God. Oh, okay, that's really good, actually. Oh. Let's go with that. What's that? 70, which is a success. Okay, great. You can see him. He eyes you up and, like, <laughs> is still just thinking. And, and it's still just thinking, like, <laughs> you look like you might have some money on you. Yeah. Uh, like, he's judging, like, really judging. Are you not worried about, you know, the fact that you're you're bringing alcohol to this establishment, which... You know, I approve of, certainly. You know, I'm a man of the world. Are you not worried that there'll be feds around here? Oh, no, that's nothing to worry about. We're in a resort location miles away. This is a private affair. No one's going to yeah. bother us. Yes, a, a private auction for a, a deadly weapon. Are you not sure that the feds would have, like, discovered this sale? There's no... You leave that for me to worry about. I'm the lawyer here. I don't think you've got any reason to be concerned. I'm just slightly worried that if we end up purchasing this this machine and, and going off with it, that we'll end up being accosted. I promise you this will all be above board. As long as those funds come through me, uh, everything will be fine. I can... Will give you absolute my guarantee that you'll be totally okay if you buy this thing. With Mr. Wade, one other question: Is Mr. Pelfrey here as well? Mr. Pelfrey, no. Him and his uh, him and his wife—they've not arrived yet. They're turning up tomorrow. Tomorrow. They're That's bringing it. the device with them. Then. Uh, you I know. think this guy's a con man. I absolutely think this guy's a con man. Can me as a con man trying to turn game recognize game? Role. Yeah. Give me. If he's actually on the level. Psychology. Psychology. Give me, give me whatever role you think. Yeah, a psychology. Oh god, what we got? Eighty four. That's a bad one. That's a. Okay, fail. so you can push this. Oh yeah. But explain to me. At the moment, you're trying to like, I am up. To push it, you are now having to double down. And how would that work? How would how are you That's like? A very good question. Like Tom. to start questioning him a bit harder. Bear in mind, if it goes wrong, there will be consequences. So on a failed push roll, yeah. then things will get much, much worse. I don't know if he's a con man so much as he just knows that there's a shit lot of money in it. Whatever. Hey, I'm stood right here. What the <laughs> hell are you talking about? Where's That's that accent? We're talking about a different person. Oh, okay. Someone we met in the lobby, a really shady fellow. I'll... Perhaps I could see that Perry is about to go off on one and I will just pull him aside and, and talk quietly in a whisper. Okay. Now listen here. <laughs> <laughs> now Perry, listen Perry, here. You. <laughs> one moment. I don't think this man is a con man. I think he just knows that there's a big percentage in him of whatever this goes for. That's his interest. Financial, surely. Okay. What's the con? If the device doesn't work, I mean, he why probably wouldn't... doesn't even know. Does yeah, he? I don't think he even knows about it. You're a very reasonable man for a German. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is between wars, of course. So, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean between <laughs> wars? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what happened. But you know, war, war <laughs> never <laughs> changes. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> war oh, is yeah, good for. I love, war. I love that movie, <laughs> the Fallout movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That was one of my early ones, actually. The Fallout <laughs> oh, you made the, yes. You made the original Fallout. I movie. did low budget genre movie. It's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> love that. Uh, anyway, I've got I've got things to attend to. Got a lot of stuff set up around here. Okay. Uh, 
You're right, Maggie, having a turn. <laughs> having one of my funny turns. Um, just a quick question. Uh, hypothetically speaking, of course, would you be okay if we um, filmed this? Because oh, my brother... I was hoping you wouldn't say My that. brother's making a movie with Charlie Chaplin in it. Uh, and it's uh, got, all going to be really, really big, absolute massive blockbuster smash hit and we'd love to get some footage of your little machine okay uh, that's gonna i'm gonna need uh, like uh, charm or something I, see i think you're fast talking because you're right. lying to him right uh so i'm gonna need like a hard i don't have fast talk you're fucked five <laughs> percent okay give me a give roll. me a roll on that zero or one or no zero is a hundred right yeah. yeah that's bad 60 I got 60. But okay. if you turn it this way round, I got nine, which ah. is still a fail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, ma'am, uh, but I can't allow any filming to be going on. Uh, this is, you know, going to be a private thing just for whoever's going to be buying it. I do, um, Mr. Wed, I apologize. My sister just gets very excited about me and the movie business. I'm incredibly successful, and she likes to share the word about how rich and famous her brother is. I apologize. I can fully understand that. Like, sir, you are an absolute gent, um, and I can see how, yes, yeah, this woman just does not understand what is going on. You're so right, Mr. Wade. Thank you for understanding. Anyway, I've got to go and organize some alcohol and get some stuff set up. Uh, if there's, uh, just remember, you got to be here. Uh, and he, he shuffles into his pocket and he hands you, uh, Archie. Oh, Mr. Wade, thank you. Hand here you still. go. Here's the schedule for the auction. Um, anyway, I'll see you here. Sharp tomorrow. See you then, Thanks Mr. Wade. Bye. Ta -ta. All right, Bye. everyone. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> he handed me the auction schedule. 6 p.m. Demonstration of the disintegrator in the hotel's rear garden. 8 p.m. Dinner. Disintegrator. The disintegrator. Oh, that's what they're calling it. Okay. 8 p.m. Dinner is served with compliments of the auction. Free dinner, everybody. Oh, oh excellent. I love Nine, a free meal. 9 p.m. First round of bidding in the dining room. Sealed bids to be handed in by interested parties. Sealed bids. Yeah. 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 So we have to, yeah. That's how you make the real spondulix. Yeah. 9.30. The highest current bid will be declared. If there's an agreement to continue with further bidding, a second and final round of sealed bids will be handed in by the interested parties. The highest bidder will take possession of the disintegrator device following the satisfactory exchange of capital as soon as this is made. Payment to be made in full within one day. End of schedule. We know where they're going to be testing it. We do know. We can help you okay. Do you have some kind of a... Uh, a Langen lens for the camera we could set up in one of the empty rooms on the upper floor. I've got the one lens. Down. We could maybe hold a magnifying glass in front of it, <laughs> see what that does. Well, you're, uh, Mr. Otto, you're good at disguise. Dr. Otto! Sorry, I'm sorry. Dr. Don't Otto. upset the German. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, you could, you're good at disguise. Can't you just put a little fancy disguise over the camera? No one put a moustache on the camera. <laughs> I cannot disguise the camera as a person. It's a camera. Uh, what? Before we get Take to, a or something. should we just have a little saunter around the gardens and see what we're looking at, see what we're dealing with here? See still, if I still don't see why we don't just put it in a window from the hotel looking at the statue. Uh, any What's of our problem? rooms facing the garden? Roll me a luck roll. I mean, also bear in mind there's Does anyone else want to roll? That's true. Is anyone huh? who's not rolled in the world? Oh, um, oh, yeah, we should roll because to see if we're lucky. Uh, anyone else any of roll? you can roll. Yeah, I can roll. do a luck. Roll for luck. Uh, 55, which is under my luck. I'm very lucky. I'm like, not that. Not today. I'm 90. not lucky. 90. 89. I'm <laughs> not having a good run, am I? <laughs> What's that? 70. Oh, fuck's sake. Otto. Uh, uh, Otto, like yeah. Uh, Otto's room is got, is slap bang in the center of the second floor of the hotel. There you go. And you have a fantastic view of the... The disintegrator. Of uh, the, the statue. Oh, and well, yes. Yeah. Well, it's a soon to be is, disintegrated statue, but yes. You, you could not have framed this as a filming location better if you tried. There you go. We well, shall film it from my room, set things up in here. Uh, Schmutzi can be the camera dog. Someone <laughs> does need to crank the camera. If Schmutzi can, can crank it. Well, I will crank the camera. How or about that? We could, we could always get Gabe to 
Nine, we don't yeah. want to get an outside party involved. You don't have, hey, you it's know, me, Gabe. Hello, Gabe. Need some help? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to summon you, Gabe. That's okay. You mentioned Gabe's voice, and he appears, because Gabe is going to be in every single scene from now on. You're a good oh, egg, Gabe. Here's a nickel. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Thanks, mister. <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem. See ya. He just pops back into a bush or wherever. A bush? Wherever, <laughs> wherever he goes. I don't know, As long Gabe. as the lens cap is off the camera. Remember, the lens cap's off. We need to have film in the camera, yeah. and we need to crank it. Well, you just set it all up, and I will do the cranking. All right. And that concludes the first episode of Mystery Quest. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, We have had a great time making it, and we're planning on making a whole load more. If you'd like to support us, maybe become a YouTube member, or leave a comment. Tell a friend. Uh, We'd love all of those things. Until next time, everybody. Goodbye.